Hello everyone, I'm Deco, a doll hoarder with a severe case of RBF. I'm not mad or glaring at you, it's just my face. In this video, we will be opening a series of blind box BJDs. And if you noticed, the box was a little damaged and I was kind of poking at the sides. I am very worried that one of the dolls is going to be damaged. That damage translated over to the smaller boxes inside. The brand of these dolls is called Penny's Box or Penny's Treasure Box and the blind box series is called Addo Long Fantasia Series. And according to Gugal Translate, it means like dragon stream or dream of meeting a dragon. This blind box series contains six figures and one hidden figure. And this little brochure here just gives basic information about the dolls, such as the sizes, the accessories they come with, how to take them apart, etc. Earthquake! Apparently it was taped shut so I couldn't shake it open. <laughs> here is the character card that these dolls come with. Uh, it looks pretty good. I've seen worse. This is an accessory this doll comes with, which are glasses. <laughs> Nerd. And these are some extra hands that you can interchange out, but I don't understand why they only give you one dragon hand. Personally, I would prefer both the hands be dragon hands. And ta-da! We have unveiled the first figure. And now that you know what they look like, here's an image of Dollzone's Yin Long. And apparently, while searching for these images, I found a 1 fourth version and I really want it. Now, I am wondering if this blind box series is a collaboration or based off of Doll Zone's uh, Yin Long figure, which is a 1 6 resin BJD that looks almost exactly the same as this blind box series. On first glance on these, I see that they are painted, but in my opinion they're just not painted enough. I might in the future decide to shade them better. I don't know. I tried to take the head apart, but it was really stuck together and I didn't want to break it or scratch the paint, so I just left it alone. Oops, apparently I'm an idiot and don't know how to put glasses on, even though I wear them every day. After getting these clothes on, I realized that like, I don't know, the sleeves and stuff, they're just way too big. And I realized it's kind of hard to sew for such a small doll, but in my opinion, he just looks better without clothes. I think even like molded PVC clothes would have been better than the actual cloth clothes. Sort of like resin figures have already, like the model kits you can put together at home, something like that. And that was our first figure. Now the subsequent figures will probably go a little bit faster because now we know what they kind of come with and kind of look like. So with that said, let's open our second one. And here we have the second one being Lee. And she's probably one of my favorites because she's purple, and purple's my favorite color. I'm wondering if they expect this like little metal piece double as like a human accessory where a human could wear it. But anyway, I think this outfit is better than the first one. And moving right along to our third box. And this is a new card. I looked it up or Google translated it and apparently you can scratch the scratchy part off and you can either get a chance to get points for or something like that for a product of Penny's box or or 
you have a chance to win a doll zone one sixth yin long. So they have to be collaborating, right? Unfortunately, you can only claim this stuff through WeChat and I live in the United States, so WeChat is pretty much useless to me. Again, not a fan of the outfit. Looks better with- Ah oh shit, let's just lay these down for safety. And here we have box number four. Hmm, and this one also came with one of those scratch cards. I guess it's a hit and miss. It's an extra lottery. You have to be lucky enough to get a card and even luckier to win. And even luckier to live in China or somewhere where you can actually use WeChat. Well, isn't she cute? And this is box number five, folks. We have one more after this one. And this guy also came with a lottery card. And with only one box left after this, it's not looking too good that we'll get the hidden figure, which is unfortunate. And this guy came with a little smoke pipe. And not everyone comes with an accessory like this, though. Last figure, last chance, let's see. Aw, oh, nope, not the hidden figure. Guess I gotta have to buy it on its own. Now, on this figure, I would have really, really liked this figure if it wasn't pink. Now, if this was the purple one, that would've been great. Or the black one, I like black too, purple and black. And she also comes with a smoke pipe. Don't do drugs, kids. If you like this video, feel free to hit that like button. And remember, I don't upload videos on a regular basis, so if you'd like to be notified of future videos, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon. Thanks for watching.